Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Zocom Mods. Today we're going to be modding the Strong Arm with the Unleashed Strong Arm Solid Final Stage Kit uh, from Orange Mod Works. Uh, basically, this is going to be a uh, spring upgrade. Uh, also, a couple parts on the inside will be upgraded. So, Orange Mod Works, they really improved their uh, box and just all their material in here. Uh, first of all, their boxes are a lot more thicker than they used to be. Uh, they got a lot more uh, nicer colors and looks in here. Uh, they got nice packaging and a really nice manual here. Uh, it also comes with this foam piece, so nothing will uh, come out of place, which is really nice. Uh, I know that this uh, package can also sometimes come with a trigger and uh, the actual plunger right here, uh, but this one does not. Uh, so this manual right here, uh, this will just kind of tell you how to install the whole Orange Mod Works piece in your gun. Uh, I will not be using this because I'm pretty sure I know how. Uh, this also comes with a silicone grease, which is really helpful uh, for uh, the guns sliding and everything. comes with a couple stickers, uh, some extra springs, which is really nice because normally uh, when you open the gun, they kind of shoot out and you can lose them. It also comes with uh, the plunger uh, bands right here, uh, which is really nice also. Uh, it also comes with the spring right here, the internal... Uh, bladder or uh, plunger piece right here to replace and this piece I'm not really sure what this piece is for just yet I can imagine it's a catch for something uh, so let's get into this mod uh, first what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't want, you do not have any uh, darts in your in your gun you also want to make sure that your gun is not cocked uh, mine is not uh, so basically all you do now is you just take out all these screws So now I've taken out all these screws, uh, now this piece right here, the cocking handle, actually comes right off. Uh, it's quite easy. Uh, there is a uh, spring right here that's going to be uh, attached to this. Uh, it seems to be getting a little bit stuck on the top. Uh, this is the piece that actually replaces in the uh, solid uh, the Orange Mod Works kit. So now I've pulling this out. Uh, it's kind of hard to pull out. Uh, for me it was at least because it was kind of getting stuck. Uh, this piece is going to be kind of loose right here. It seems like it can come out, but it's uh, kind of stuck in there right now. What you want to do now is you want to remove this uh, screw right here that is holding the trigger on. Uh, after you do that, you can kind of disassemble this whole thing. Uh, you kind of want to be careful when you disassemble it though, because some of these springs can shoot outwards and uh, don't want, any, want to lose anything. So this piece comes out right here. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to remove this piece, uh, the whole plunger. Moving the spring right here. I'll take it out if I can. Pull this out. This is the uh, internal plunger piece right here. Uh, this is what's going to be replaced uh, that the uh, final stage kit has. Uh, so basically you're not going to need uh, this part right here. Uh, so what you want to do, you want to put this piece in here and you kind of just screw it, the, uh, screw the spring inside. So you want the O-rings that are inside of here, um, you just need one for now. Uh, it goes around the uh, internal plunger piece right here. Uh, what you want to do with this though, is you want to put the silicone oil uh, around the edge of it. So Orange Mod Works is very generous and they give you a lot of silicone grease. Uh, we have a lot extra from our previous mods. Uh, so I'm going to just use this package right here. Uh, this uh, silicone grease is very, uh, really nice stuff. Uh, what you want to do right here, you want to just kind of put a lot on. So now we can start putting this gun back together. Uh, I'm just going to put this piece right in here. Put this in from the uh, back right here. Should fit in just like this. 
So now you want to put this spring on here. Uh, I do not have a replacement. Uh, now you put this piece, the, put it all back into the gun right here. So this spring, uh, you just basically want to take it off and uh, put this one on. Uh, the trigger is going to go on last, so I'm not going to do that right now. So now with this trigger catch that Orange Modworks gave us and the spring, uh, you insert the spring inside of here. You want to make sure it stays in there. Uh, it should stay in when you turn it upside down. Uh, what you want to do, you want to put it in the back of the gun. It goes right here, and you can use a pointy thing uh, like this, or you can use a knife or whatever to uh, drag the spring upwards after you put it in place. You want to make sure you hold it down, because otherwise it will fall out. Uh, now you can put the uh, trigger in. I do have the trigger spring, uh, the spring that came with the orange model works. Uh, you can put the screw in and you can try to get it all together. So now that I've put the trigger in, uh, all you would need to do, uh, you kind of want to make sure you hold this uh, trigger guard or uh, trigger hatch down though, because otherwise it might pop out. Uh, also, you want to know, make note that you have uh, this plunger, uh, the internal plunger part right here, in the correct position so it can catch onto uh, the uh, trigger catch. Uh, it's very important that you have it in the correct position. You have to be almost in the exact correct position. It should line up with also the cocking handle back here. So if you pull the cocking handle back, it should be able to pull this back. Uh, so now I'm going to grab the other side of this. Put it back on. It should lock into place and put the cocking handle in. So now I'm just going to put all the screws back in. So now I've put this gun back together. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, we're going to be doing an outside shooting test, but uh, I'm kind of disappointed with Nerf because uh, there's not really a place where I can put this orange mod work sticker. Uh, there's no real spot you can put it. So now we're outside with the strong arm. We modded it. We did not take the air restrict out, but we do have a 7 kg spring in here. Uh, we have got the 70 foot reel lined up. Let's go. Before the mod, this gun's effective range was around 32 feet. Now this gun's effective range is around 37 to 38 feet. Also the accuracy did not decrease, uh, it stayed up pretty well. Normally when you modify guns, it will decrease, but this one uh, stayed uh, in its accuracy and it's actually really good. Uh, I definitely recommend doing this mod and buying the Orange Mod Works mod for the strong arm. It is definitely worth it. Uh, you'll see the link for the kit in the description below. Thanks for watching your Silicon Mods and I'll see you guys next time.